guys, it's Alicia. So today I am going to be making some banana bread. Had a couple ripe bananas that I wanted to use up. And so instead of making one of my typical banana breads that I would normally make, I want to try something a little bit different. And so I was looking through the WW website and I came across this cranberry banana bread, which sounded really good. I love cranberries. I love banana bread. So I wanted to try it. So I'm going to be making that today. I am going to be making just a couple little changes to their recipe though. And I will let you know what those are in the ingredients here, but nothing major, just a couple little changes. So let me show you what you're going to need to make this. First off, you're obviously going to need some bananas. I've got three ripe bananas here. Then the recipe calls for a half a cup chopped cranberries. I've got a cup here. A half a cup did not sound enough to me. I love cranberries, like I said, so I'm going to be putting a cup in instead of the half cup. And then here I've got two eggs. The recipe calls for a half cup egg substitute. I don't use egg substitute. So I'm going to be using two eggs, which equals roughly a half a cup of egg. And then here I've got a cup of all purpose flour. This is two third cup of wheat flour and then three quarter cup granulated sugar. Here is three tablespoons of oil. And then in this, I've got a half teaspoon baking soda, a half teaspoon salt, a half teaspoon cinnamon, and then I decided to add in a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, just because I love nutmeg. And then you're also gonna need a little cooking spray to spray your loaf pan with. And that is all that is in this recipe. First thing I'm gonna do is take a medium sized bowl here and I'm gonna dump my flowers in. And my baking soda, salt, cinnamon, and nutmeg. And I'm gonna just mix those together real well. Okay, now I'm gonna just set this aside and mix up the rest of my ingredients. Now I'm going to take my mixer here, and you can do this by hand if you want, but I've got a mixer, so I'm going to go ahead and use it. And I'm going to dump in my sugar and my oil. And then I'm going to just mix the two of these together on a medium speed for, it says, until the sugar is dissolved, which would be about two minutes. I have let this go for more than two minutes, and... It's not really dissolving. Now it does say starts to dissolve, so I'm gonna call that good. You can see it's kind of starting to dissolve around the edges there, so. Now, I'm gonna take my eggs that I've cracked and put into this separate container. And this is something I don't typically do because I'm always in a rush. You really should put your eggs in a separate container before you dump it in with your other ingredients just in case you get a bad egg. I've never gotten a bad egg before, so I typically just crack them right into what I'm making, but I figured I'd do it the right way this time and put them in a separate container. So I've got these in here. I'm gonna pour them in with my sugar and oil, and I'm gonna start mixing that. And then I'm gonna put in my three bananas and mix that all together too. Now they said to mash your bananas first. That's not a necessary step as far as I'm concerned because they're gonna get mashed when you throw them in here. All right, I've got that all mixed together. Now I'm gonna take the bowl off here. And now I'm going to pour in my dry ingredients and my cranberries. And I'm going to kind of just fold that all in. Making sure I scrape down the sides as I go. And folding this in instead of mixing it in with the mixer just kind of helps prevent over mixing this. But that looks pretty good. So now 
I'm gonna take my loaf pan, and also I should say, I always forget to say, you wanna be preheating your oven at 350 right now. But I'm gonna take a loaf pan, I'm just using one of these silicone ones, and I'm gonna spray it with the olive oil spray. And then I'm gonna just pour this mixture in here. Okay, and in true me fashion, I got some all over the counter here too. But now I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it in my preheated oven at 350 and I'm gonna bake it for, it says 45 minutes to an hour or until you can insert a toothpick in this and it comes out clean. So once this is done, I will be back. This has been cooking for an hour and when I inserted the toothpick in there, didn't come out completely clean, but I'm gonna call it good because it has been an hour and I don't wanna overcook it. And a lot of times I find that breads don't fully cook right in the center. And that's fine with me because I kind of like mine like that anyway. So I'm gonna let this sit here for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna take it out of that pan and put it on this cooling rack. Okay, we're pretty much not gonna wait to- uh... I'm gonna cut in the middle. Sure. So you can get that nice- Undone piece. <laughs> we're gonna go, go ahead and just cut into this. And try it. It smells good. And it looks good too, I think. Okay, go ahead and uh, cut you off a piece. So a serving size of this is a 12th of this loaf. I mean, they said three quarter inch slice, roughly. Oh, okay. That's pretty healthy. How yeah. many points? Uh, it is six points on all three colors. That is pre-butter though, so. For the loaf? Oh. For the loaf, yeah, don't you wish. Thoughts. So, I do want to say that, um, you know, we're dieting, mm -hmm. and I've been doing really good. Mm -hmm. And I told my wife I wasn't going to taste this because I didn't want to get set off, you know, because I trigger real easy. Yeah. With delicious food. Are you she's throwing? Like, are you throwing me under the bus? Yeah, right she's, now. Like, she's like, this isn't one of those. I this, don't think it this is. This won't do this. This it's wonderful. Is it's it? It's this wonderful, delicious banana bread with this pop of cranberry tartness mm -hmm. and if you put butter on this you would never know in a million years that it was Weight Watchers at all related to Weight Watchers oh so, so I very well may have set you off so I'm gonna saying. eat this uh, at least half of this no you're not I'll freeze it and then you can't turn it turn it slightly so we can see what it looks like it's not in the light there we go my wife doesn't think I have thumbs there we go it looks good and it smells good. And do you think, so I added twice the uh, cranberries that they called for. Mm -hmm. Do you think that was a good call or no? No, oh, absolutely. Okay, that's what I thought. Cause when I've made, I have a cranberry bread that I make every Christmas that is very much not Weight Watcher friendly and it has quite a bit of cranberries in it, so. I mean, I, I think you have the perfect amount now. Okay. All right, so this is a success. Apparently it's too big of a success and he's gonna eat more than he should, but. I think I will um, freeze this, and then you can't. I know how to. He knows. Work he, the microwave. <laughs> he knows how to work the microwave. All right, so the uh, cranberry banana bread was definitely a success. Then I'm gonna get off here and try some of this myself. But yeah, six points a slice on all three colors. It smells amazing. Apparently, it tastes good too. So definitely worth a try if you like banana bread. And you're like me and you like cranberries too. I think this is a good one for the fall too, now that we're yeah. getting into fall, those cranberries kind of give it a fall fall flavor, fall feeling. And I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love fall recipes, the spices, pumpkin, all that good stuff. So hopefully I don't go uh, too crazy with the uh, fall recipes, but I'm sure I will be doing a few more and maybe not letting him try them. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you on the next one.